you make that decision that I want to be more dense the layer of protection around me to become more dense it's not about an aura here that's not what I'm talking about it's about actually the very materiality of your body the cells themselves that they develop this energetic ability to keep themselves intact without anything taking over too much actually two questions. My first question is, how can someone overcome the severe fear, terror of dark, like actual physical dark, and especially when alone, to the point that unable to like sleep half a night? When I research it, it's all like, oh, clear your past life trauma, current trauma. I don't know how to clear my past life, current life. I wanted your opinion on that. So I don't have any experience of past lives. I only have the experience of this life. I prefer to focus on this life because I'm not sure about the past life. So I would suggest to you simple thing you you're lying in your bed, in your room, and what you do is you turn off the light 10 seconds and turn it on again. Then turn it off for 20 seconds. Then turn it on again. And turn it off for a minute. Then turn it on again. Then turn it off for five minutes. And keep increasing those and just be there. Close your eyes and be there. And then again, and after a while, you won't be so afraid anymore. I don't think you need to go into any past life for that. I think this life has enough answers. Yes. Thank you, I will do that. My second question is, I feel like I was born an empath and very sensitive person. And I feel like my calling is to be a caregiver. I've been in medical field my whole life. Recently, I became very opened up. I sense more, I feel more, but I feel like it's hard to handle. I feel everybody's pain. I absorb it and I carry it around. And special with pandemic, on top of other illnesses, everybody starts talking about suicides and I just absorb all those fears and pains and emotions from others. If I meant to absorb it as an empath, how do I get it out of my system or transform it so I am able to be a caregiver and still be an empath and not shut down? Well, you know, when the when the kundalini is disturbed, what it does is that it also... it also destabilizes the, the mechanisms in the body that protect you from opening to too much of input, these are actually like electromagnetic waves that actually take over the system and the system is geared to protect itself but when this disturbance happens it's not anymore able to do that so this kind of extreme empathy reduces with time with the practices of surrender it's something which you will have to conceptually protect yourself against which means that in the morning, before you go out, what you're trying to do is plugging those holes in the system that are allowing all this to take over, you know? So the way that is done is a conceptual decision. When you wake up in the morning, you make that decision that I want to be more dense, the layer of protection around me to become more dense. It's not about an aura here. That's not what I'm talking about. It's about 
actually the very materiality of your body, the cells themselves, that they develop this energetic ability to keep themselves intact without anything taking over too much. Some people have it too little. So it's like a, a surrender into the materiality of the system and surrendering in that materiality and asking for it to be more, to be stronger and more, more tough against all of that stuff coming in. This is because of Kundalini that this has happened. It's because of Kundalini, disturbed, I mean. So the surrender will reduce that. And you literally every day have to make that decision in the morning. You can actually speak to the cells and say, you know, be more strong now, be more strong. Allowing only what is required to enter. And focus in the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the truth, the Master, inside, here, 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 here. Yeah. Then it will get better. It will actually go quite fast. If you actually do that, it'll go quite fast. How do you hear all the sadness and see it and don't absorb it? Like you personally. I just told you. <laughs> Everyone has to do that. Everyone. When you're in this truth state, you know, it, it takes over the whole system. It's a state of surrender. So everything is malleable. Nothing is resisting anything. Not nothing. There is resistance on and off, but generally you're not that much in resistance to what's happening around. So when you're not that much in resistance, there's also nothing that's hitting against, you know. So something comes in and it sort of, it moves and it goes out again. It's not resisting. Your whole system is not in resistance, it's in flow. And when it's in flow with the Truth, the entire materiality of your system changes. And I mean it actually changes, you know. And it protects you more, you know. People say, yeah, but I mean the spirituality, what's it all about, it's so boring. And It's not boring because you also are stronger like that. And therefore you're more joyous because life is a more joyous thing. And you don't have to deal with all of that stuff. So you move inward, you move to the, to the Master within. There's no going around it, that's the place to go. The Soul, the Soul, the Soul, the Centre of the Being, the Truth, the Truth, the Truth, that Source, that Source, that Source, here, 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 now, now, present, 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 and the system just strengthens, it strengthens because of that. People go into trouble because they allow the ego to take charge of their lives. They're not ready to make that to, to bend to this beautiful thing called living. They want to control everything. The ego wants to decide what happens with everything. It's not gonna, it's not gonna work. It doesn't work, it never works. And at one point, the ego is put in its place. And it's just about this Truth thing then, you know. And there are ups and downs, sometimes it's better, sometimes it's worse, it's going up and down, obviously. You do it, you'll see. Thank you. The Truth, don't forget the centre of your being, your Master. Go there, be with it. Thank you. <laughs>